Hello FIFA faithful, Bearhams here, and welcome to the first episode of African Academy. So what is African Academy? Similar to any club and country save, instead of just taking players from one country, we're going to take them from an entire region, and that region will be the continent of Africa. For this save, I'm not using any scouts. As you can see, all three of these slots are empty, and you're probably thinking, how are you going to get any players from this? There is a way to manipulate the amount of regions you get from the free agency market. And I have made a video for it, and it will be in the description below as well as one of the eyes. I'll put it up there. It only takes about a half hour to an hour. It's really simple. Another feature that I've added in this career mode is that we're not going to be able to use any players from countries that you can scout in the game. So no players from the Ivory Coast, no players from Egypt, no players from Morocco, Algeria, Nigeria, South Africa, Ghana, Ivory Coast, and there's more. Can't, can't use players from those countries. We'll be using players from the smaller countries to develop this great team. For the save, I have picked Otto Den Haag of the Eredivisie, and the reason why is because I don't see many saves from the Eredivisie, so it'll be interesting to see how a team like Otto Den Haag fares. Another reason why I picked this team is because in world current events, China has started to develop economic relations with some small African countries where in return for manganese, a material that could be made for metal, what they are doing is they're building stadiums in those countries to help with soccer with the African Cup of Nations and whatnot. And it's very feasible that a team like Otto Den Haag could develop an African academy because the team is owned by Chinese business owners. For first-time manager Ralph Van Huydonk, it's going to be a tall order, as you'll see, for domestic success. They want us to achieve a high finish in the Eredivisie. I don't know how high they want it. Probably like 7th or 8th, I hope. I don't know how we're going to do with the players. You'll see them later. And then they also want us to reach the quarterfinal of their domestic cup. Now, that might be possible since the uh, lack of teams in the competition. But other than that... Yeah, you're going to see the team. It's interesting. Starting off, we have Hanwala Oduor from Kenya. Next, we have Pape Dribil Diande from Senegal. Next, we have Aristote Manzala from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Another CDM, we have Herbert Bachhorn from Uganda. We have Siam Kui from Tunisia. We have a player from Cape Verde in Luis Carlos Mendez Andrade. Another Senegalese in Opa Diagne. Then we have another Senegalese in Mame Tior. Up top, we'll have Idris Ben Mustafa from Tunisia. Then we also have Benjalud Imchagama from the Comoros. We have Jose Luis Santos Leite from Cape Verde. We have Jamal Dia from Senegal. And we have Prince Gabegno from Togo. Now, you're probably wondering, as you'll see in the top left corner, we have no goalkeepers. For this first season, and hopefully the only season, We'll have no goalie. And looking at all the player stats, our best goalie will be Jamal Dia. We'll take a look at his stats more in depth. He's six foot one. He has sprint speed, he has dribbling, but they don't really matter in terms of goalkeeping. Yeah, this is going to be very interesting. It's going to be a stroke of genius with how we're going to implement him as a goalkeeper or it's going to be a complete disaster. For the first and only game of today's episode, we'll be taking on AZ at Cars Jeans Shadion. As you saw in the preview, we will be using a 3-5-2, and that is because counterattack is not going to help us any bit. Because we have a striker as our goalie, he really has no discernible skill being a goalkeeper, so we're going to just try to keep it away from him as much as possible. Honestly, our best defense is offense. Stengs, looking for that cross in the box. Exactly, this is the last thing we need. It's now classy. We'll find Stengs. There's a... Sh okay, not even the best goalkeepers could save that one. What a banger by Adrisi off the volley. So yeah, this might be a long game. This might be a very... Very long game. Now Idrisi gunning down that wing. Already has a goal to his name. He's going to find Windall. Windall flips that in. Oh, opens up the defense already. Yep. Five minutes. Two goals. This, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Just try to maintain some form of possession. As we are right, well, as we were. That is already intercepted, and 
it honestly might be just every drive that they have they're going to score, which I hope is not the case as there's a through ball. Thankfully, he is offside. The key factor will be passing as there's a through ball here to Kaui. Kaui able to bat it down. He's going to find Ben Mustafa. Ben Mustafa with a shot and just wide. I mean, that was good. That was good setup, decent setup, able to get a couple solid passes in. And ben Mustafa almost gets us our first goal. There's a good through ball to Bachhorn. Bachhorn with some running room. Sees us. Oh, there's a run. Mustafa is through. Ben Mustafa. Yes, he does score. Yes. Right at the half hour mark. It is Ben Mustafa. We have to play him at striker because... Actually, he's playing Cam. Excuse me. We do have him playing at Cam. What a start. What an assist. All right. We can do this. We can do this. There's a long ball to Idrisi. Odawar. I'm going to catch up. Oh, he's going to get past him. Catch it. No. 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 Come on, Dia. Just catch the ball. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Just catch it, please. All right. I mean, we score. That means something. Just get in the way, get in the way, get in the way, get in the way. Great block. Great block. And that will be the end of the half. So, yeah, we do give up three goals, but we scored. We scored. Ben Mustafa, our saint, scores right at the half hour mark. And again, I'm not too ticked off because we are playing a very good AZ side. Well, I mean, compared to us. But they are a really good team. Oh, do enough. Oh, no. No, no, no. Get it out. Get it out. Okay. Ah, Ku oh, Kawhi's going to lose it. But it will go straight to Tior. Tior. Just tap it away. There we go. We'll find Bachhorn. Bachhorn now with the run. It's going to throw... Through ball. Oh, here we go. Yes, keep going, keep going. No! God, I shouldn't have done that. That's on me. That was a clear scoring chance. But I screwed that up royally. Uh, I screwed that up royally. royally. God, I can't even say things right at the moment. So now their chance here is Windall. We'll find a Dreesy. Uh, yep, that's going in. Shoot. All right, 4-1 already. Yeah, that's how it's going to go. There's a long cross in the box. All right, it will be caught. This is how we're going to use Jamal Dia. If we can implement this. Ah, shoot, he ran out of space. But maybe tried here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Jamal. Let's go. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Perfect. There we go. Maybe a chance here. Diane is through. Here we go. Diane. No! What type of through pass is that? He had... Ah... Prince wins the header. Will land to Ben Mustafa. Mustafa flips a pass through. Maybe a chance here. Heads it down. Takes a shot. Oh, just wide. Why? Oh, man. That's the thing that sucks, too, about having just such low players. Is like you want it to pass it to another player, but they can only pass it to certain other players. Is there's a good block? All right. I love that play. So it actually was a save by Dia. Good job to him. Oh, uh, Goodmanson with a shot. Great save, Dia. All right. He just he just has to get used to it, all right? Just used to actually touching the ball and pushing it away. All right. So that's the end of it. We do lose by a score of 4-1, to one, but a lot of bright sides. There was a goal. Ben Mustafa did score. And, again, AZ is a really good team in the Eredivisie. So, again, it's really tough to play a good team like them to start. But... I think if we play those lower sides, I think we'll be we'll be competitive. Let's just say that. After 90 minutes, it's AZ 4, Otto Den Haag 1. After one game, no surprise, we are in dead last as we did give up four goals. And we do have a goal differential of negative three. But again, there was a lot of positives. We can score in these games, which is very well possible. It's just going to be a lot of tinkering with 
the strategy because I think the uh, possession strategy is going to be very hard with players that lack the passing and ball handling skills as our team. So yes, this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like it, subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bear Hams, and as always, toodaloo.